Hey everyone! If you're wondering why my face is oddly yellow, it's because I'm looking at the title screen of Skyward Sword. Yay! I'm so excited! I'm genuinely excited because Skyward Sword used to be my least favorite Zelda game. I know it's super weird, but first and foremost, the controls of the original Wii version ruined it for me. So, I am wondering if... HD remake, nice and pretty. They redid the controls so you can just do buttons only controls. So I'm wondering if this will be the turning point for me and Skyward Sword. Maybe I'll like it this time. So I'm really excited I can give Skyward Sword, Skyward Sword, <sighs> Skyward Sword, Skyward Sword a second chance. And I'm hoping I like it because this is the Zelda game that has my most favorite soundtrack of all the games, strangely enough. Gameplay-wise, I don't like it. Music-wise, I love it. So I'm excited to show you guys this game. If you've never seen Skyward Sword before, you're in for a journey. But I'm excited to give it a proper Let's Play treatment and go through it and experience it together. So let's have a look. It's so bright! It's so bright and it's so yellow. It's such a weird yellow. Why are the clouds not white? Well, maybe if they were like true white, I would have been complaining too, so. Um, there we go. Wait, no data? What? The top one is just no data? I guess I'll do a new adventure. <laughs> we are not Link. Good. Goobers! Goobers! Is ready for another adventure. Ooh, the earth cracked open. Ho oh, ho ho ho, big beastie! He's really cute. It's like a little mohawk going on. Hungry! Ho ho. The Legend of Zelda. ASMR. <laughs> Skyward Sword. Wrong game. It's a bird! It's another bird! There's two birds! Woo! 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 Birds! No, so pretty. Can I get like a a sky? Uh, can I get a stardew like this? That would be great. Cute. Huh? Na 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 Ugh, I fucking love the soundtrack, it's so good. I can't believe I'm playing this on the Switch. It's amazing. Oh hi. Pretty boy. Make it pink. Rise, Goobers. The time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken, Goobers. Is he right behind you? Oh! <laughs> no, wakey wakey! Hi! <laughs> That's so cute! <laughs> 
You got mail. Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine! Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts. Remember? You better not keep me waiting, Zelda. <laughs> They're so cute! Ah, oh, he's so cute! Ah, oh, yay! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Gotta contain myself. New old Zelda game. Sit. <laughs> I wanted to read the book, but... Um... Can I open this? Oh wow! I found a blue rupee! Five rupees. Better drop it in your wallet. Okay. Yeah, so I looked up the UI. The reason my face cam is where it is is because there's gonna be some extra info here later. I think I'll have to scoop myself down a tiny bit more once we get past 10 hearts, but um, the rupees are now bottom left instead of top left with the Wii version, so that's actually nice. It looks great. I wanted to do something else and I completely forgot. Because I have the attention span of a five-year-old, apparently. Hold L and tilt R to move the camera. This L? Oh, the top first L. Okay. Oh, and then I can't... Okay, so I... Uh, why, why would it not just be free range? Free motion. Yeah. Oh, hi. Pip it. Today's the wing ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is everyone's all, everyone else is out practicing at the plaza, but you seem pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Of course, that crimson left wing of yours is something special. I'd feel pretty confident writing him too. My Bert won the last ceremony, but even I don't think he could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a Bert's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the writer. I'm something of a bird researcher around here, so you know, if you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Pippin. You got it, Peepee! Mm. Olan. Mr. Owl! Hey, Goobers, the day of the wing ceremony is finally upon us. It's time to put what you've learned to use, all those practical skills I taught you, and all the academic prowess Instructor Horwell, Horwell taught you. Instructor Whore, got it. <laughs> well, Rada, do you remember how to look around using the D-pad? But it, it, you just taught me that it was L and right stick. Oh, hi. Okay, so first person view is uh, the D-pad. Gotcha. That'll be nice. Oh, and... Ah... This is like the old timey target button. So if I want to just quickly shift the camera to the front, then boom. Okay. Do I have a map? Wow, menu. Do I have a map? Yes, I do. Look at that. Cute. Okay, where's the exit? <laughs> oh, look at the lights. Cute. Everything's cute. Oh, who that? Oh, Fledge! I remember you. Today's the big wing ceremony, right? I wanted to fly too, but I, I didn't make the cut, so I'm stuck back here at the academy. Plus, I gotta move these barrels over to the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, Gobers, but I guess that was that's the way it goes. Go out there and wow them, buddy. You're so cute! Thank you! Best friends. Oh. He's not strong enough. <laughs> oh, I can move as well in first person. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you can do it! Oh. You gotta train harder, bud. Can I break these? No, don't put it down. Throw it. Throw the shit out of them. Oh, I can't. Hello. Henya. 
Hentai? <laughs> I'm gonna remember all these names because of these weird little jokes. Where in the clouds is that? Fletch? Fletch boy. He's supposed to bring the barrels. Sometimes I just don't know what's going on in that boy's head. Do you want a barrel? Maybe I can bring one. Oh god, they're really heavy. I'll have to put it down soon. <laughs> He's looking at me like, fuck, show off. <laughs> Almost there. Okay, I'll put it down. I don't want to drop it. It's like a little, um, a little lime. Here you go. Is that good? What's all this? Thought I told Flesh to carry that. Ah, probably for the best. Skinny boy would probably have gotten flattened. Say, don't you have some important ceremony or some such today? <laughs> well, thanks for the help. Eee, I did something good. I hope you don't mind. <sighs> thanks, that was a huge help. <laughs> no, it's not much, but here's half of the pay. Oh, half the pay. Oh my god, Fledge. You're too kind. <laughs> I have to hang back and watch the academy today. Good luck with the ceremony. Okay, see you later. Restroom. That's not the exit. This is the exit. <laughs> We're outside! Ooh. Ah. Yay, yay, yay. Sky loft. Big statue lady. Oh, there's a dude there on the roof. Hey, hey Goobers, up here. Yeah, you. I saw you Yo. there. <gasps> it's it's Instructor Horror. <laughs> Good morning to you, Goobers. Today's finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remember there's something I'd like to ask you about. Target me, and we can have a chat. Oh, I am targeting him. I just didn't see. Excellent. Always remember you can target someone to talk to them easily. And even when there isn't anything to target, it's a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry a conversation from this distance. Why don't you come join me? Uh-huh. You should be able to climb up if you dash up to the top of that wooden box. Oh. Try climbing up there. While moving, hold B. Oh, you do like a little a little dash. And he jumps automatically, like usual. Hi! I made it! Yo! So what are you up to? Rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice in this morning, Goobers? Oh? You have someone to meet? Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gapora. I'm just gonna say Gapora for now has a pet named Mia, and well, she scampered off again. Look! <gasps> is it a kitty? It's not a kitty, is it? The headmaster is so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony. I thought that maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony is about to start and I just put a, on a fresh set of clothes, and well, you see, I'm too lazy to do it myself. Will you help me and go retrieve Mia? I'm on it! Ooh. Fantastic! So you'll do it? I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking the time to help. Should be able to climb up somewhere over there. If you hang off that ledge there, you can climb onto the roof from the other side. Okay. I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. Wait, but how do I get there? Did he say something about this side? Oh! Oh, oh. Maybe I can hang on this? Oh. Playing Assassin's Creed now. They definitely tried something different with this Zelda. There we go. Okay, did that. Those little silly legs. 
Hi. Hi. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I can't do first person. Oh, I really wanted to. Oh, you're so cute. You're cute. I don't know what you are, but you're cute. Now, where do I bring him? Do you want him? Ooh. Nice work. You brought her back safe and sound. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy, goobers. I suppose I should feed you now. Please tell the hatmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. Awesome. Let's do it. I believe Zelda is there with him, so you should hurry. Oh yes, I should give you a reward. It's not much, but please take this. Don't tell the others. Whoa, another 20. I'm rich. Bye. See you later. I think this is a safe point. Yes. Okay. Nice. Yay. Okay, thank you. Oh, hi. Oh, ho, ho. Morning, goobers. Jaka Meyer. How's life? Did you manage to get even a wink of sleep last night? Figure you might have been tossing and turning all night thinking about the big ceremony today. What am I doing? Oh, just fixing this gate here. It's been squeaky lately and we can't have that on the day of the ceremony. Hey, you haven't forgotten about send your prayers to send your prayers to the goddess this morning, have you? <laughs> I just did that, dude. Face the bird statue over there. Say a short prayer to save your progress. As you know, those bird statues are all over Skyloft. It's about time you get in the habit of stopping at the statue every time you run by one. <laughs> A prayer in time saves nine, if you know what I'm saying. This is a uh, stamina, right? Yeah. Replenish your stamina gauge. Okay. Where? How do I dodge roll? I don't know what that button does. Bloop, 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 bloop. There she is! I'm glad to see my loft wing got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this inter instrument and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. Sounds gorgeous, too. I asked father about it, and he says it's called a harp. <laughs> Look at these clothes! I made this wrap myself, and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and the outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. <laughs> I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, goobers. How do I look? Great. I think so, too, but it's nice to know you agree. Thanks, goobers. <laughs> So cute! They're so cute! There you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, Father. Ah, Goobers, you're here too. Outstanding. Oh, right! That's what you look like. Holy shit. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda, so give it your best out there. Those are some impressive eyebrows, dudes. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Goobers hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. 
No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skills of the writer as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. Listen to that music. It's so nice. And, as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But, you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Goobers and his Loftwing share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our Loftwings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our Loftwing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, but that first meeting between Goobers and his Loftwing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson Loftwing. It's a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. And the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Goobers and that Loftwing of him first met? What a sight. The little boy just hopped on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with the bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. He's got it. But where is he? Ah, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Goobers and his bird. Anyone who is a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. This contest is, contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Goobers doesn't fly fast enough during the race... What if Goobers messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Ooh. Calm down, my dear. It'll be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Goobers. <laughs> hey! Listen, Goobers, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. Come on, you'll thank me later. Where's my friend, though? Here we are. Go on now. Jump off the edge and call your laughtering. It's almost time for the ceremony. Try to practice seriously for once. Oh, yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having some practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. She just pushes him. <laughs> off you go! <laughs> Okay, Goobers, go ahead. Press down and call your Loftwing. He not coming. Mm -hmm. His bird sure has taken a long time to get here. <gasps> Something's wrong! Oh, there she goes! Nice! Is she gonna catch him? Hanging in there, Googus. I got you. Oh, she just caught him. Nice. We did see the red bird earlier, but... <laughs> no, purple birdie's immediately super tired. I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? This is very odd, Goobers. What could you have possibly- what could have happened to your Loftwing? For a bird to ignore the call of his, of his master, it's unheard of. I know what happened. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Goobers? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Goobers, when you said you couldn't sense your Loftwing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own Loftwing, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. Ooh. 
tasty cold water. My, how did it get to be so late? If I recall, recall correctly, this year Instructor Horror is presenting over the ceremony. <laughs> Groovers, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so that you can find your bird. Okay. I'll do that. But father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Goobers asks Instructor Horwell, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. Ah, uh, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well. I'll explain the situation to him myself. Goobers, run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Okay, so... Okay. Can I talk? I'm going to tend to my bird and make sure he's not hurt. I'll catch up with you later. Go and see if anyone in town knows what happened to your loft wing. Okay. Will do. But I got to talk to the dude from the academy too, right? Sprint! My boy! Run for it! And bloop. See my bird? Your loft wing is missing. I just saw him. Chris's bird was chasing off after your feather fella. Which way? To be honest, I don't really know where they went. Hmm. Well, something just happened then. What's wrong, Goobers? You're looking a little pale. What? Your loft wing is missing? How strange and troubling. Do you think you can find him? You're gonna start looking for him now? How will you make it back in time for the, for the ceremony? Looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather or not. Feather or not, you can find that bird in time. Excuse me. So the headmaster has summoned me? Alright then, I'll go speak with him immediately. I still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You'll focus on finding your loft wing. Think. Now who is this? Oh. Are you wearing Link's outfit? Don't men open doors for a lady anymore? How long am I supposed to stand here waiting for a little chivalry? Ugh. Hmm? Oh, it's you, Goobers. Say, you look all flustered. Did something happen? You can't find your loft wing. Hmm. I don't know what to tell you. Been here at school the whole time. Okay. Um, so that gate's broken. Should I check my map? So we can't go to the bazaar. Unless we maybe take the other door? That gate seems open. Oh, pretty flowers! Okay, cool. Let's see. Look at that, someone rolling into a tree. Oh, you gonna teach me how to roll? Hold up, Goobers! Hey, Goobers! <laughs> he looks so cute. <laughs> Can you help me with something? All you have to do is dash and roll into the tree. Just like I've been doing. Dash, then when you're found with a tree, BAM! Do a roll right into it! How do I do that? While dashing, press L. <laughs> Woohoo! You did it! Sky Stack Beetle! What up? And a rupee for me. That's a giant ass rupee. Jesus. Did you lose it? Ah, oh, my sky stag beetle. So close. Oh well. To catch it, I would need a bug net anyway. I wish I hadn't thrown out the one I fought at Beetle's <gasps> Beetle's Airshot. Beetle! Oh yeah, are these Yeah, they're hard plants. They're growing plants in this one. If only they did that for Breath of the Wild. Ooh, who this? Hi. Hi. Keat. How's it going? Wing ceremony about to begin, right? Remember when Pippet won the last one right at the last second? It was so close. Now that was a race. Hey, your Crimson Loftwing will, will be in the race, right? I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Strick. You know, Groose. He's Groose. That sure was a pain with all the scratching and pecking. <laughs> of course it was. You thought a big crimson laughing like that was gonna go down without a fight? <laughs> Isn't this the 
pirate music in Wind Waker? Bum, 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 bum. But we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. Boys, boys, boys. <laughs> Whoa, Goobers. Just how long have you been standing there? What's your problem anyway? Oh, wait. I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. Can't I can't see it in those dopey eyes of yours. <laughs> They're pleading. Oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, pal. Groose doesn't do charity for whips. My advice? Work hard and wish all your heart. Wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where's that scruffy pile of red feathers? Can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Give him back. <clears throat> I got no idea what you're talking about. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal. Doesn't change the fact that you flow through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Gruss? <laughs> Ladies coming in. You're fucked. <laughs> ho ho ho. Don't even try it, Gruss. You're picking on Gro Goobers again, aren't you? Groose and Goobers. He's a student at the academy, like all of us. No. Oh. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> you suppose? Suppose what? <laughs> I suppose you are. <laughs> Forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Groobus. I hope... Now I'm saying Groobers. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback towards knighthood. So find that bird or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. They're so fun. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance. Uh, you think? Goobers, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird. We'd better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he'd talk to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony. So don't worry, we'll find your bird on time. Okay. I guess we should just ask around some more. Whee! Sprint, my boy! Sprint! Who's that? Hi! Oriel. What's up, Goobers? You're in a hurry. Is this about your bird? Oh, that unusual crimson loftwing. Have I seen him? Hmm, I haven't. Why don't you look for him by the statue of the goddess? You'll have a good view of the whole town from right there. Hmm. Yeah, I was there, but... Mm. If you're ever lost, you can press minus to see a map. Right. I got it, I think. Ooh, who are you guys? Such a beautiful day, but we're too busy to enjoy it. Some things never change. Ooh. Isn't that the truth? The only thing my lug nut of a son is good for is getting grease on his shirt. All I do is laundry, laundry, laundry. It never ends. I hear you, and I'm terrible about washing clothes. I wish I could get someone to do it for me. Honestly, I don't even know, like, just me and Sean, we have so much laundry every week already. I'm like, how the fuck did my mom do it with four kids? This house belongs to Kukiel. Psst, 
By the way, that's me. I'm gonna go play with my special friend today. It's gonna be so much fun. No, you're so cute. So cute. <laughs> Bye. Who this? Oh, Rasta. Look at this thing. How? Who knows how long the statue's been here? It only has one eye, poor thing. You probably know this, but press up on the D-pad to look around. Hmm. Needs a ruby. Oh, I can hear him. Waterfall cave. Beware of blood-sucking monsters. No kids allowed. I think... Huh. I thought I could climb here, but it doesn't go anywhere. I need to go in here. Hmm. Maybe we need to get a sword? Ooh, pumpkins! Pumpkin! Pick it up! My pumpkin! <laughs> Can I throw it? No, I'm just gonna sit down. Oh, I actually don't know what this is. Pivot! Yeah. Goobers, perfect timing! I heard your loft wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. Get this! When I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Aww. I'm so sorry, Goobers. I really wanted to tell you, but if Groose found out I told you... <sighs> Sounds like Groose forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. <sighs> Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Groose and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loved ring. I wanted to warn you, Goobers, but just as I tried to sneak away, Groose and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. Sounds like Groose and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. That's it, right there. I think it means the waterfall marked here with an X. Yeah, that's exactly where I was. <gasps> Uh. Forgive me, Goobers. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Oh, it's okay, Fledge. You're so nice. I forgive you. One more thing. If you're going out to the waterfall, remember that there are some dangerous things there. Creepy crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. Yeah, I want one. I think I saw a knight commander go into the sparring hall a while ago. Ask him if you can borrow one. Ooh. Thank you. Pip pip. Beep beep. Hee hee hee. I'm ready. Training. Ooh. Hey, Goobers. Aegis. You still want to get in some sword practice, even though today is the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. Sword is in the back room. Go on back there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand, go ahead and ask. Let me get it. It controls really well, the game, so far. Curious to see how it will be with the sword. Ah! Get it! Get it, Link! Hell yeah! Crack the sword. Dink. Fairly sharp. Gear. Oh, that's the map. Gear. Ah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> So how? Okay, so it's the right stick, right? Uh, how do you? Ah. Oh, this is. So how do I? Ah. Okay, you have to be pretty quick in your movement, and then it's fine. Nice, I got it. You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You make this instructor proud. 
Ready to try a spin attack? Yes! How do I do it? Now I'm going to surround you with logs. Use a spin attack to cut them all without moving from that spot. How do I do it? Flick left, right, left. Oh, that's so easy! Can I do it again? A fatal blow. Yes! When your enemy is down, target with Z and throw yourself on him. Slice a side slash on that log. Up, down, up. Up, down, up. Oh. Okay. That's the way. Fatal Blow is also an effective move to use right after you've used your shield or a well-placed spin attack to knock an enemy on its back. Right. But monsters don't stay down for long, so you have to land that Fatal Blow quick before they get up. So left, right, left. And up, down, up. Okay. I can't do that if I don't target. Wait, can we try it again? It's a little bit tricky. But I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. Um, anything else? You wanna learn about how to use a sword? No. I'm good with a sword. Practice is everything. Yeah. Practice those fundamentals. See to target. Yeah. Okay. And help. Okay. Okay. I did it. You can't take swords inside the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? Oh shit. I need it. Your loft wing is missing. You wanna go look for it? I guess I could make an exception just this once. But remember, the Skyloft is a... Is a pe Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. I don't want to see you swinging it around like crazy out there. I don't want to get in a ton of trouble over this. So here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these logs first. And once you get outside with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? Got it. Thanks, sir. Don't have a shield yet, though. Dudes, I got a sword. Do you see this? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, find a bird statue, send your prayers. Right. Yeah. You have nothing to say about my sword? I got a sword, dude. You jealous? <laughs> so can I... Hi. Oh, take that tree. Okay, let's try it here. <laughs> We're in! We're in, lads. Waterfall cave. I'm ready to stab. Nice! I'm doing it! We're doing it! What's that? Monster claw. Extremely sharp. Looks painful. Ooh, collectible. Ah! Nice. Ooh, slime! Ah! Ah! Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, they die pretty quickly. Ooh, Jelly Blob is another collectible. <laughs> this game's easy. This game's for babies. So easy. Ooh, bats! Hiya! Hiya! Wait, I hit the. Oh, did I take two hits? Oh, big blob. Oops. I exhausted myself. Well, that sucks. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. <laughs> oh, he angy. Look how angy. <laughs> how do I get anywhere? Oh ho! Oh ho ho! Tiny chest. Nice. Okay, can I jump this? Ah, oh, fuck. Hmm. Hmm. 
No. Oh, yes, it did. Oh, bitches! Did it? Ah, oh, nice. He also auto targets. No, he can't grab it. Oh wait. Any hearts here? Oh, big ass rupee. One rupee. Any more bats? Come on down, sir. I got you. Okay. Another claw. Hi. Hello. Um. Should I go here first? Yes. Hell yeah. Ooh, bird! A uh, little bug. I almost said bird. But it's a bug. I know the difference. I swear. Okay, do I just go this way? Jump. Yes. Ah! Go! <laughs> Scary bats! Ooh, we can stay here. Thank you. Yep. Ba -dum -bum. Okay. Hey! Coopers! See you took the easy route. Hey Goobers, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's the search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Hmm. Oh no. Let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Gruus and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Uh -huh. Huh? Who's that? Who is calling for me? <laughs> oh, sorry, Goobers. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder who's calling. <laughs> Look, there he is. Let's get him. Hell yeah. Almost got you. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> You're so cute! My own little flamingo. <laughs> I'm free! Welcome back, buddy. <laughs> Time to go! Bye! Jump on him. Now push him off the ledge. <laughs> we should hurry to the ceremony. Let's do it. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? Sure did not. It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say that it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing all at all down there. But I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see, and our loft wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. I can't help but imagine the world wild things that might be waiting below. Someday, I want to see it for myself. Oh, sorry, goobers. We know it's time to talk. Let's get going. Your bird's waiting for you. Leap off the edge and press down. Okay. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you. Let's do it. <laughs> Call him. 
Can I do it? Can I press the button? Choo! Yeah! There he goes! Woohoo! Bye time! Okay, so where are we going? We're gonna bump into each other. Let's run your Bert through the basics just to make sure he's not hurt. Oh god, it's inverted. Okay. You can fly your bird in any direction when it's headed upwards, it'll slowly lose speed. When you want to speed up, direct your bird upwards again to gain altitude and drop into a fast dive. Okay, how do I... I have no idea. Ascent. Oh, just A. Easy. Okay. It's, it's weird because up is up, <laughs> if that makes sense. Pressing up is up. I'm not used to that. For riding your loft wing, can press right on the D-pad for base controls. Okay, yeah. You can also charge, which, which is an attack. Where's the speed? Okay. Uh, oh, it's the top one. And slow down with B. Ah, I see. I just wasn't going fast enough for the... Okay, so what are we doing? Where are we going? Bingo? Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Goobers, but your loft wing looks like he's flying great. Father and the others are probably worried about your bird, so let's give them a good news. Let's go! Your left wing really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy's been through this morning. I'm gonna fly back and tell father what happened. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Goobers. Word around the plaza as you found the dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great. Because you and your dumb bird can tell time all the pre-race warm-ups- Oh, can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-up warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start. And they- they delayed for you? I don't get it. Big Flake gets special treatment? <laughs> You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? I don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Oh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Chris has been going on forever about how he's going to be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour in a ruffle about her. <laughs> Dar her her. I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fancy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim that sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way I was gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Ah yes, that sailcloth, Zelda's sailcloth, will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. I can see it now. First, I win the big race, and then Zelda, and I win, and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It will be our special moment alone. Nobody is stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Ah, oh, it's so real. I can, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Gross. behind you, right behind you. What? Can't you see him in the middle of? <laughs> Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment? <laughs> Nothing big, really. Just, um. Just, um. Goobers, yeah. I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, later, Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. <laughs> He's one of my favorites. Chris, wait up! Do you hear that guy? Fair race? Chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Goobers. Just get out there and fly the best you can. 
I know you got these guys beat, and deep down I think you do too. Yeah. That's the spirit! Trust me, you can win this! Hey! Wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Goobers. Oh god, okay. I gotta do it now. Gotta fly the weird flamingo. They fart in. They fart in their feather color. They got special beans before the ceremony. <laughs> Hey! Oh, the golden one's cool. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Goobers, but luckily, that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line and dive off the ledge. Once you are in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly. Okay. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simple enough, I think. But do you need to hear them again? Nope. Mm. Catch the bird. Got it. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special place for many reasons. A special day, but it is also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. Wasn't it the 25th anniversary of Zelda in general? To celebrate the occasion, was it 35? Maybe it was 35. Today's champion shall also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And so you all, as you all know, well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... <laughs> The lovely Zelda! <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. <laughs> that goes double for you, Groose. Hey. <laughs> At my command, the competition will begin. Oh god. Hey. Go! Ah! Go, 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 go! I got this! Now where is this fucking bird? Uh, okay, so speed dash... Altitude... Okay. Why am I so far behind? There he is. Oh god, I keep pressing the wrong fucking direction. Oh, I was so close. Okay, can I can I can I invert the bird? Maybe? Um this one. Oh god, I'm going too fast. This is really hard. Ah! Oh! Catch! Don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? God damn it, dude. You heard him. Let's see how you fly with an egg on your face. God damn it, I did it. Oh god, oh god. Go up, go up. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> I heard him. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, I'm so close. I'm so close! Ah! Oh. Almost had him. Ah, oh, fuck. Go, 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 cut him off. Yeah! Get him! Yeah! You got the bird statuette, Proves. Your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. Wonder why the bird <laughs> works better inverted for me. Hey. Is the bird maybe inverted in um, Twilight Princess? When you fly on the bird? 
<laughs> so romantic. Music. Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> hanky hanky. <laughs> Great flying goobers. Congratulations. We'd better get on with the ceremony. Nice. Hand me that bird statue you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Where was I keeping it? So nice. Ho ho ho! Great goddess, guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during the ceremony. Valiant youth who grasped victory at the celebration of bird folk, in accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessing of the goddess upon you. Strips down naked. <laughs> the blessing of the goddess drifts down from the heavens aloft a sail, which I now pass on to you. We got the sailcloth! Woo! You can jump from any height without fear of painful landing. It smells nice too. <laughs> Hoover's quick goofing. I stink. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making the sailcloth in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Goobers. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today, like you promised, Goobers. No, <laughs> so cute! <laughs> now we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Uh, sort of? I'm glad you're so well informed on the subject. I have no idea! <laughs> what are we doing? You have to jump off the statue! <laughs> I thought we were gonna kiss! See that big round design in the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop right down in the center of it. Leap off the edge. Right before you hit the ground, press ZR to open the sailcloth. Just how brave are you? If you're really fearless, you wait until the last second to use your sailcloth. Ready to jump? <laughs> Second time she throws me off a cliff. Ta da! I did it. <sighs> that was perfect! You're amazing, Goobers. Also, Zelda is weirdly confident in her skills in making a sailcloth. Did she test it at all? What if it didn't work? What if it didn't open correctly and I just fell to my death? Beautiful birds. I love the colors. You know, Goobers, seeing as how you want today. With the weather being so nice. God, they're so in love. It's amazing. You think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Yes, I would like that. Eee, so cute. Oh. She's sensing something though, isn't she? <laughs> hey, Goobers. Yeah. 
Today was amazing, watching you win the race and perform the ritual together. It's- I'll always remember this. Damn, that's nice. You like my butt? It really was wonderful. <laughs> you know, Goobers... There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Oh, fuck. What is that? Oh. Hurricane? What's going on? No, no. Goobers! Oof. Got thrown off. Do we get thrown back on the island or? Ooh. Matas. Matas. Goobers. Oh, there she comes. I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Goobers. Are we falling? Dreaming? Ooh. Am I back in the school? Gopora! Dad! Oh. When your loft twin carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Ah, oh, my bird brought me back. You don't appear to have any singer serious... Singerous areas. For that much, we can be grateful. <laughs> but, Goobers, where is Zelda? She was with you. Was she not? I'm sorry, Dad. I couldn't protect her. I'm not strong enough. She did. Black tornado. That was no ordinary storm. Let's go. It's goober time. You must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? Yeah. She kept talking about something calling her from down below. I see. She was talking about the surface then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission. How interesting. I'm sorry. I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of the night. It would also be very dangerous. Rest now, Goobers. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. <laughs> Are we gonna sneak out? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> It says it saves in between. I don't know how long I want to make these episodes. Maybe I'll go until a manual save just in case. Oh, there she is. Ah, the music is so good. This soundtrack is so good. I'm coming. Where's she gonna lead us? I'm coming. 
coming. Wait, where are you? Are you going down? Um, R, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that just goes straight down. <laughs> I can't maneuver the... Oh, hey, it's the, the kitty monkey thing. gonna leave it. Ooh. Chest. Rupees? Nice. Oh, the cat thing is flying. Should I kill it? I don't want to though. I'm just gonna leave it. Hopefully it doesn't bother me. Make it? I think I can. Yeah. I'm good. Oh, leap is sideways. <laughs> okay, guess I'll fight. unusual way to get to the goddess statue. They let me keep the sword. That's nice. Is it gonna open? Woohoo! Woohoo! Let's go inside. Yes? <laughs> that took a while. Inside the statue of the goddess. Ooh, hey, is that already? Ooh. There you are. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will you will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fai is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Goobers, you must take up this sword. As the chosen as the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertainty surrounding the fate of you, one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <laughs> and this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated, chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Do it! Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? He's ready. It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Do it! Ooh, 
god! Oh, so exciting. <laughs> Ready stance. Remove. Skyward! Hell yeah. Well, the goddess sword, not the master sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. I wonder if we get a uh, master sword in this one. Recognition complete. Master. Goobers, my master. Goobers. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. I got goosebumps! It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. No, poor young Link. He has no idea what he's about to do. It started days ago, the sword that I've kept secret all these years. It began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first I was sure I was seeing things, here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of the legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the Blade One, who is also youthful in likeness yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over generations. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And unite with the spirit maiden shall bring united with the spirit maiden shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. The land. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. She was right. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Goobers. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. Ooh. What's that? This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar, altar behind me. The emerald tablet. Okay, weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. The first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when, you're, when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. You got it, Vi. Let's do it. So, you want to put it in there? Or do I hit it already? <laughs> like that? Oh. <laughs> Familiar 
a sound. Oh, so it's a part of it. One of four. Oh. It is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down on the d-pad to summon me whenever you require me. Okay. Goovers, listen a moment. Nature of a great the nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what if this Fai says is, says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming in terms with whatever to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. You should heed the call of destiny. I don't know what dangers you might have to face, Goopers, especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove, prove the legends true. Got it. I'm gonna do it for Zelda. Do your people proud, Goobers. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Goobers. And those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better change before you go. <laughs> Time for the tunic! Let's do it! I'm excited. Oh! I'm putting it on already! <gasps> Yes! Check that belt. Oh, so cool! Mm. Mm. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. Eee, so cool! Yes! Ah, oh, fuck yeah! Take care on your journey and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You are always welcome to stop by if you have any questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. <laughs> da 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 da! I hear your sparring instructor, Knight, the Knight Commander, also knows that you will set out for Skyloft. He's concerned for you. Why don't you consider stopping by the sparring hall and speaking with him before you go? Be safe out there. I'm counting on you to find Zelda. Thanks, bro. Let's go find ourselves a safe point. Hey. Ah, Fledge! How you doing? That green uniform looks so adventurous. You, you sure look like a knight now. Headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. Adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. That's so nice. Thank you. Adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need to, on your big adventure. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar if you, that you can put in the pouch. You should go look. <laughs> buy some potions and shield and shield. They'd fit in the pouch and they might come in handy on an adventure. I just know you'll find Zelda for us. No, give him a hug. <laughs> just make sure you come back and see me. Ah, I'll give you a, a hug as best as I can. There you go. One special hug. <laughs> um, 
Now where is the exit? Oh god, I don't want to talk to you. No, we're not friends. Do, 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 do. I am just... Ooh, R for pouch. Ah, so it's like a quick slot thing. Okay. Um, I think... Okay, let me see. Oh, there's a bird right here. Okay, perfect. Save and quit. There we go! First episode done. Oh, I'm so excited for this series. It's gonna be so fun. It's been really nice so far, the controls. So, awesome. Also, there is a cutscene that plays on the title screen. So I wonder if I... I'll wait here for a sec. It starts in like 30 seconds to a minute. Um, and it shows a bit... It shows a little bit of a story thing about how the world came to be the way it is with the clouds and stuff so um i i didn't put it in front of the episode because i thought that maybe they would show it like in the game and it would be a double cutscene basically just a repeat of the same cutscene but we haven't seen it yet so i'm just gonna show you now <laughs> tale passed down through uncounted generations Tales of a war of unmatched scale and ferocity, the likes of which would never be seen again. One dark, fateful day, the earth cracked wide and malevolent forces rushed forth from the fissure. I love the music. They mounted a brutal assault upon the surface people, driving the land into a deep despair. They burnt forests to ash, choked the land's sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. All those people. They did all this in their lust to take the ultimate power, protected by her grace, the goddess. There's the harp! And the sword, I guess. Is that a Goron? The power she guarded was without equal. Handed down by gods of old, this power gave its holder the means to make any desire a reality. Oh. My headphones are running out. Such was the might of the ultimate power that the one placed oh, to prevent this great power from falling into the hands of the evil swarming the lands. The goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcropping of earth. Hey, Beavis! She sent it skyward, beyond the reach of the demonic hordes, beyond even the clouds. With the humans safe, the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought the evil forces, sealing them away. At last, peace was restored to the surface. <laughs> this is a tale that humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. But there are other legends, long hidden away from memory, that are intertwined with this tale. Now, a new legend bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. A legend that will be forged by your own hand. Eee. Come on up, sir! I'm happy with that first episode. I thought that was great. It was really fun. It's much more fun than I remember. And I really like um, the the whole thing with Gruber and then the birds and the ceremony. It was great. The school that they're in is so cool. The sort of like academy feel in their little village. Um, we'll go shopping next time and put some stuff in our pouches and then check out that hole through the clouds and see what's up down below. What's up down below? Hey, <laughs> hey. 
That was smart. <laughs> but yeah, that was it for the first episode. I hope you guys like it. Definitely uh, leave a like if you did enjoy it. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet and you're excited for more Skyward Sword. I am super excited to play more. So I'll see you guys soon with part two. Thanks so much for watching.